Hello guys, my name is Valeri and I would like to show you the CAD, the computer aided design for the Rain Rocket experiment. The goal of the Rain Rocket experiment is to develop a proof of concept of a multi-point aerosol collection technique to find vertical distribution, size and composition profiles in the middle atmosphere. The Rain Rocket experiment consists of three units, rocket mounted unit, which you can see here, to free falling units. The function of the RMU is to hold two FFUs inside the rocket cylinder by a steel wire which is routed around the rocket cylinder in this manner. On one side it's constrained on this hook and it passes through this cutout, through this groove in this triangular hook, passes through this groove, and then it passes through this triangular hook again, and then the other end of the wire, steel wire, is constrained between these two ruffled steel plates by the means of the bolts and by the system of bolts and nuts. And uh, also there is a pyro cutter which cuts this steel wire. In the center of the RMU there is a, an ejection system. An ejection system consists the ejection system consists of the system of beams, top beams, bottom beams and side rails. And it also has four springs. It has push plates, a pair of push plates and a pair of hatches or doors and it also has electronics, the electronics. And these uh, springs are kept compressed by this steel wire rooted around the rocket cylinder. On the inner walls of the uh, cyli rocket cylinder, modified rocket cylinder, there are camera box and D sub connector support. Yeah. As we've done, as we've made openings in this rocket cylinder, we designed special mounts to reinforce the shell structure of the rocket cylinder. So you can see this massive mount here. And now I would like to move on to the FFU. The FFU is the experimental probe or atmospheric probe, which is meant to collect aerosols in the middle atmosphere, in the altitudes from 60 to 15 kilometers. It has three main parts. The frame, electronics, the recovery system and of course turntable mechanism or turntable asse assembly. The FFU frame holds all necessary components in place inside the FFU and on the bottom of this frame there is there are two special openings which I'll talk about later. There is electronics, FFU electronics, which is a FFU PCB, distribution PCB, the battery and the connector. There is a recovery system on the top, which has a parachute inside of it for a safe landing of the FFUs. And the, the main component in this system is the turntable mechanism, which drives 
which consists of the stepper motor which drives these spur gears here then by the means of a shaft which this uh, this drive is turned 90 degrees downwards by the means of these helical gears and then this spur gear small spur gear drives this big wheel with the aerosol collection samples which are attached to the bottom so as it falls as the FFU falls the aerosol collection samples are being spinned incrementally uh, by this stepper motor and through these two special openings which I mentioned earlier uh, we hope the aerosol we believe the aerosols will hit the copper plates uh, aerosol collection samples and when this FFU will safely land on the ground we'll be able to recover it by the means of the electronics and GPS and uh, we hope to recover the information stored in these aerosol collection samples so this is how our experiment is going to work this is Valery Shipinkov who I did the computer aided design mainly with together with Wenji Jin and Baktash and Will uh, thank you very much for listening